Question number four. An adolescent presented with massive intra-abdominal hemorrhage. Imaging revealed the presence of dilated sinusoids and irregular cystic spaces filled with the blood within the liver as shown in the image. What is the likely reason? So the options have been given and a CT image has been given as well. As you can see in this picture, the child has present, adolescent child had presented with intra-abdominal hemorrhage and there are multiple dilated cystic lesions which are filled with blood in the liver. So these massive lesions are nothing but a condition called as Peleosis Hepatis. What is Peleosis Hepatis? Peleosis Hepatis is a poorly understood condition in which there is cystic dilatation of the sinusoids and blood filled cyst or you can say blood filled lakes form in the liver parenchyma all throughout. Peleosis Hepatis has been described to occur with multiple conditions. Among drug induced causes, especially in the western population and in the adolescent age group, use of anabolic steroids and oral contraceptive pills have a strong association. Looking at the four options, we have anabolic steroids which has been shown to have maximum association and so this is going to be the most likely answer. Estrogen can be a close answer if it is a part of oral contraceptive pills. Usually it is seen that estrogen with progesterone combination, the combined OCPs have a, a slightly higher risk of developing peleosis hepatis. Whenever question will have anabolic steroid, the answer will always go in favor of anabolic steroid. So this is something you already know. What about one liner potentially which can be asked related to this topic. So what are the key points that you should remember? Peleosis hepatis. Peleosis hepatis is a condition in which there is cystic dilatation of sinusoids in the liver which are filled with blood. They can be asymptomatic or they may present with massive intra-abdominal hemorrhage. What are the common causes? There are infective causes and there are drug induced causes. Among drug induced, the most common drug and is associated is anabolic steroids followed by combined OCPs. In case of infections, it is Bartonella which has been implicated especially in HIV positive individuals. So these are the important things related to this topic that you should remember. Treatment wise, it tends to show regression if the cause is treated. So treating the cause is the ultimate management along with supportive therapy and abdominal hemorrhage you need to do supportive management in the patient. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.